A quiet Tuesday morning, downtown Kingsville, Texas. Not much has changed here on Clayburg Avenue in the last hundred years. It's a town that has grown up at the front gate to the sprawling King Ranch. It's a culture of cattle, cowboys, and big mustaches. I started growing it in the early 70s. It was uh, a lot thinner. It was a lot darker. These mustaches, I think, are part of the culture of Kingsville and the King Ranch, aren't they? Maybe they are. They're, they're maybe at least broaden it in at least the cowboy culture. Well, you got a lot of cowboys around here. Right. Real ones. Real ones. Well, to boil it all down, it's really a culture of tradition, and pharmacist Nick Harrell wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. Uh, I can't give you a secret formula. We, we treat people like you'd like to be treated. For as long as anyone in these parts can remember, Nick has eased the aches and pains of countless folks in Kingsville. Seldom found these days, the old soda fountain and lunch counter at Harold's are much like they were decades ago, blurring the line between tradition and tourist attraction. Pharmacies came about in the late 1800s. The pharmacists would concoct something to put the, the uh, medicine in that would taste good. And so Coca-Cola was developed in a pharmacy. Uh, Dr. Pepper was designed in a pharmacy. My grandfather started this in 1916. And so my dad and uncle came to work for him. So where's your grandfather? My grandfather is right there in the middle. So this is a picture from the 40s. Look at this picture here. This was from 58. That is a picture of my dad up there. It seems like they're, with you, with this place, you probably know more about the people of Kingsville than any other person. You know about their aches and their pains and everything that bothers them. And and they come in to visit friends, socialize with them, everything else. Uh, it's, it's true. My, my mom would tell my dad, my dad would come home and she'd say, well, you know, one of our neighbors is pregnant. And he'd go, yes, I know that. And she said, well, why didn't you tell me? He said, well, you just don't talk about it. And so, I mean, I, I have plenty of customers and they'll gladly talk to me about their aches and pains, but we don't talk around about them around anybody else or my wife has no clue what any of her friends are taking. Yeah. <laughs> business that goes back as long as Harold's, there are aches and pains with such an old building. The air system isn't what it used to be, but Nick simply harnesses those obstacles for the benefit of others. Lacey, I'll be back in a minute. They planted oak trees uh, in the 80s or so and they've grown and so they usually stay alive but they need better watering and so I, I like green things so I go out and water the plants up and down the street. Why is that important to you? Well it helps make Kingsville look better and I have found from experience that if you make your house or your yard look nice, your neighbors sometime catch on and they make their house and it's contagious. And pretty soon people have pride in their town and, and help keep Kingsville beautiful. You've got a lot of pride in this town. Oh yes. You love it here? I love it here. I have a number of families that I've filled medicine for five generations in their family. Sunday morning, we used to be open on Sunday, since we're not, they know I'm going to be at church between 10 and 11. I've had people hand me prescriptions at church and I'll fill them afterwards and, and then sometimes those people stay and visit longer so I can run down here, fill it and get it back to them and I don't have to deliver it to their house. Personal delivery. Yeah. We open the doors at eight o'clock in the morning and then it's all of a sudden time to go home and we've been busy. But uh, the reward is to see, I guess, the, the family or these people grow up and be around for a long time. And, and maybe you have gotten to do a part of helping take care of them and, and to see that they did get better. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Yes, sir. It's always nice to know you can still find places like Harold's Pharmacy. For generations of people in Kingsville, Nick Harrell is more than their pharmacist. This man, whose mustache covers two counties, is a touchstone to another time, a calming reassurance that there is value in traditions of the past, and that in itself can be soothing therapy for the soul. How does that feel to be the keeper of something that your grandfather started? Well, I, you don't think anything about it. That's just Kingsville. That's just Kingsville. I guess that small town, too. I have a wonderful life. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.